Welcome to BMC Training Labs. This is part two in our Time Machine Overview. The new Time Machine is the first ever triathlon specific bike from BMC. And although the previous two bikes had been used by a lot of athletes for multi-sport purposes, they were missing a few key elements that would have otherwise caused triathletes to view the Time Machine as a bike made just for them. But now this has changed and we've prioritized three key areas where opportunity existed to improve on previous bikes and to truly embrace triathlete needs. The first is form. By this we mean an aerodynamics package that takes into consideration typical environmental conditions. The second is function. What does a triathlete really need to perform at their best and what features satisfy those needs? The third, fit. Modern fit methodology has riders rotated towards the front of the bike so how do we create cockpits to match what geometry is needed to be stable and confident? Let's dig further into these three topics. The previous generation bike, the Time Machine TM01, performed very well in independent wind tunnel testing of just about every major media outlet. And despite the fact that we developed this bike nearly seven years ago, it's still a very fast bike. So we knew we'd have to seek external competencies for improvements. For some companies, this is not a source of pride, but to us, to look to the best in the world and to ask for help is nothing short of logical. And for us to have the best in the world just an hour from our headquarters, well, asking Sauber Engineering for support was natural and something we embraced from day one. If you're not familiar with Sauber Engineering, they have a world-renowned Formula One team, and along with it, all the necessary tools to understand fluid dynamics at up to 300 kilometers an hour. But even more important to us than top speed was the resources they have to accurately measure theoretical aerodynamic performances. In Hinville, Switzerland, Sauber have a world-class wind tunnel, proprietary computational fluid dynamics, or CFD system, and a supercomputer to serve as the brain for the operation. In addition to this, Sauber made available to us a tool they refer to as the Medusa arm, which is a real-time airflow monitoring tool that isolates any point in space and finds opportunity for improvements. Sauber Engineering's Medusa arm, their talented engineers, and other resources combined with the engineers at BMC worked for nearly three years to finalize a tube shape analysis. The end result was a bike that performs faster in a straight line than any previous time machine, but more importantly, is that the bike is significantly more crosswind stable. Why crosswind stability? In short, the industry has gotten within a few percentage points of finding the fastest performing frame designs out there. So what can be gained at this point in time? Well, if the rider is in fact 75 to 80% of the aero equation, then the biggest gains come from staying in the aero position. How can we help athletes stay in the aero position? By creating a crosswind stable bike. You may have noticed that we maintain some of the very traditional shapes compared to some recently launched tri-specific products. This is a result of our focus on crosswind stability. Just look at the surface area the wind sees from the side and our strategy is very clear. If you're curious about more details of the aerodynamics project of the new Time Machine platform, there's a lot of technical information available on the BMC website. We've highlighted the fact that we put our triathlete crowd first, but we are very well aware of the time trial crowd. After all, we do sponsor the two-time time trial world championship BMC racing team. Functionally speaking, the new Time Machine can deliver a very triathlon specific setup with a forward position seat post, a storage box, and a forward offset V cockpit. Conversely, if time trial is your thing, the storage box is removed and the seat post moves to a rear mounting position and the cockpit can be replaced with what we call the flat cockpit. In this configuration, all four sizes are UCI legal. And speaking of the UCI, the V cockpit is legal by function, but because it's forward offset, the extension may exceed the rule. Beyond the fact that the bike can serve two very unique setups, we have also addressed a few other areas to make it an incredibly tempting bike to jump on. We've introduced two new brake technologies that enable athletes to use the most ideal wheel for whatever the challenge brings. First is brake booster technology. This is a system built into the converter box on the top tube. The design creates extra brake pad clearance at the rim while maintaining the same lever feel at the bars. Why do you want this? Because it means you'll never have rims rubbing on your brake pads during hard, out of the saddle efforts that deep section race wheels are known to create. And that's huge. We have a short video in this series with more details on the brake booster system if you're interested. While we're on the topic of brakes, we also have a new system called quick pad technology that allows riders to easily swap between race day and training wheels. It has an incredibly elegant design that frequently elicits a, why didn't I think of that response? 
drop out the race wheels, swap out the cartridges and pads that come with the bike, and install the training wheels. The first time it takes about 15 minutes, but from there on it has about a five minute process. Now you've got your carbon wheels and your alloy wheels managed cleanly, and we've also got a short video about the quick pad system within this training lab series as well. From all of us here at BMC, thanks for your time and attention, and we'll see you next time. Check out part three in this series to learn about the Time Machine's dynamic fit and intricate details.